What's good family? Today we are on another adventure. It's been a while since I've been on the YouTube space and this year we got some amazing content coming your way. Now, for the past few weeks and stuff, I've been up to some amazing stuff and I will let you know what's been happening. But today I'm in a place which is technically the Middle East, but the culture is very much Mediterranean. And if you're thinking what I'm thinking, you got guessed it right, I'm in Cyprus. It's an island just off the coast of Greece, guys. So we're gonna be exploring this area and getting a vibe of the culture, seeing the vibe of the place, seeing, you know, giving you an idea of what it's like here in Cyprus. I'm in a city called um, Paphos and we're gonna be checking it out. But let me just give you a quick room tour, show you of the place where I'm staying. It's a nice spot, real cool, you know. Um, they got a TV here. This is the bed area, right? Whoa, what's going on my bags here, guys? Backpackers life. Uh, they got a mini fridge, not bad. Okay, cupboard in here. They were kind enough to have a nice bottle of water here for me. And now this is in Greek. Anyone who speaks Greek and understand what this is, you can translate. So yeah. This is quite cool. Let's see what's the, I think this is it here. Let's see what the, um, the bathroom's like. Well, I think I gotta put the key in. This is how it works, guys. You got, you got this card, you insert the card here and you get power in the room. So that's real cool. Nice little spot, they got bathroom here. Nice mirror, toilet is here, that's all right. And this is like a bathtub with a shower as well. So that's cool. You know, usually in other Middle Eastern countries, you would find a water gun, which you can use to clean yourself as well. But here they only got toilet paper. So that's interesting. So this is what you get here, really. I would tell you the price of how much it is to stay in a place like this. Um, at the end of the video so definitely stay on watch it till the end and we'll be exploring more of this beautiful city here in Paphos in Cyprus yes family so today we're going to be exploring the Middle East with a Mediterranean cultural vibe you know what I mean and this is one of the places of where I'm staying really nice it's all white I notice in a lot of these um, Mediterranean countries, there's a kind of culture of painting the houses white. If you visit places like Lanzarote and these different places, you will notice the same vibe, guys. So, so far it's been great. Um, you can see I'm still wearing a hoodie. So the weather is around 18 degrees um, over here. So it's not too hot. It's not really the summer period here in Cyprus, but at the same time, it's still warm in comparison to London, England and stuff like that. So first impression of the place, it's real cool. And let me show you what I'm seeing right now. So you can see you got a nice kind of a hilly vibe to it. The roads are a bit narrower than I'll say like in London and stuff, but it's well maintained. And you can see I'm walking on the pavement, so, you know, that's good, especially if you're going for a little walk and stuff. Right now, I'm in Paphos, and around this area here is on the way to Coral Bay, which is one of the best beaches here in Paphos, guys. So, if you ever visit Cyprus and you're around this city, definitely check out Coral Bay. And we'll be going down there at some point so you'll see what it's like but so far first impression really nice vibe i'm liking it people's been really friendly um if i ask for directions and stuff people been willing to tell me about where i where i can get the right buses and different things so it's been really great here so far guys so i'm really liking it and yeah so let's explore One of the things I've noticed here is there's a lot of property development happening and as I showed you in the beginning of this video 
this is it these are all properties which are being built to be sold and of course you gotta have money some of them will be used as guest houses um, some of it will be used for people own own property where they'll stay might be a summer house or something like that but yeah this is it man if you take a look over there what I would say so far I don't know if it's because of the season but it appears a bit dry right you know some of the places it's very green but first observation I'm noticing it's slightly a bit dry but at the same time you can see over there that's the water pumps which they use to do farming and stuff so that's something you'll notice here just over there guys that is bananas so they do farm bananas and all of that here as well so that's interesting and for those wondering greek is the language uh, the national language here a lot of people speak greek but when you come to certain areas especially areas where a lot of tourists will visit you get a lot of people who can have a command in the english language at various levels so you won't have to really worry about communication so far i haven't had an issue um, with communicating with people here so that's a good thing that's something you, you you check out whenever you're traveling so you're safe here in greek in cyprus wow a lot of hotels around this is another hotel here this is marcia's boutique hotel nice and we can see you know usually the best time to visit here is like during the summer right and that's the high season here in Paphos so you get a lot of people from the UK different parts of Europe coming here and different parts of the island as well it's not just um, Paphos there's Ayanapa a lot of people go there for partying and different things like that so people do visit different parts of the island right now a very interesting thing about this island it's been alleged that it's the birthplace of that ancient goddess of love for those who are interested in Greek mythology and her name was Af Aphrodite so it is said that she was born on this island and she was a, a goddess here on this island as well goddess of love and romance and all of that so it's in the tradition of the people here I do think there's some sites where they believe um, she used to live and stuff like that so you can visit those places if you're interested in Greek mythology so you can see the sign here where I am Coral Bay it's around three kilometers from where we are right now and they what's special is they do have things written in Greek and English so if you're traveling here you maybe you might rent a car or something like that you can still find you'll get signs in English as well so that's that's cool Now at night guys, this whole island lit, lights up. I'll try to put up a picture to show you what it's like, but at night it gets really, really bright. All these mountains you're seeing here, it lights up beautifully, right? And it's really nice to see. Oh yeah, wow. So over there, you can see bananas. And that's a, a unique thing I'm seeing in comparison to some other places. Some places do it, some don't. But you can see those blue bags over there that is used to protect the bananas i guess from maybe certain um insects and i guess also from you know people who might try to do anything to the bananas and stuff it's a protection mechanism right the uk will call it an off license and it's 24 hours so you can come and get something which is really great as well so that's interesting So let me know in the comment section so far what do you think about what you're seeing right we're just taking a nice casual evening stroll you know right here in cyprus to be exact paphos really nice so being away for a couple months 
um, I think about two, three months. Had to go back to the UK, organize some things there as well. Um, see friends, see family, different things like that. So I had to um, ease up on YouTube for a bit, but at the same time, I have been organizing and strategizing. So I got some amazing content, which I'll be filming right now. I'm in Cyprus, but we'll be visiting different parts of the world this year. So you'll be seeing more from me, which I think you'll find very interesting, right? I hope you lot in, enjoy the Tanzania series and to all my people from Tanzania, welcome, welcome. Thanks you so much for all the hospitality and the way you treated me when I was there and I'll be back there soon as well. So we'll have more from there as well because there's more in Tanzania which need to be shown. And yeah, so we'll cover that. But look at these palm trees, that's really nice. I like going to a place where there are palm trees and the ocean is just right in front of you. That's really nice, a nice vibe. And, you know, so it's, it's really attractive when you visit places like that. So I think we're coming up to like a bar and it might be a hotel as well. So this is the type of vibe you'll see when you come to the coastal side of Cyprus in Paphos, right? Now, this is Southwestern Cyprus so it's a big island to be fair um, but the southwest side is a, a very hot tourist area so you see a lot of different people visiting here and stuff like that so people the locals in this part of the region are used to seeing people from different countries you know tourism is very much a part of the economy of Cyprus so it's very important so yeah this is it here guys, really nice. It's actually a beach bar. It's closed right now. During the summertime when people come here, a lot of these beach bars are open, but when there are less people here, of course they're not going to be as much, you know, um, it's not going to be open all the time. It's, it's just open certain times. So that's interesting. So yeah, I was just talking about my content that I was doing the previous series when we were in Tanzania and stuff. There's still much more to be seen in the beautiful country of Tanzania. Um, and yeah, you'll be seeing that, but we have some other places that we will be checking out this year. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely consider striving, subscribing. So you'll be notified every time when I upload a video, guys. So we're walking now and Let's see what else we'll see as we walk on. So this is like the beachfront. Let's see. All right. This is not Coral um, Bay, by the way, guys. This is just one part of the beach, very um, higher up. But this is it here, guys. Really nice, a bit rocky. I don't want to go too close, but I just want to give you an idea of what you, you'll expect to see here. Let's walk down a little bit. Wow, okay. So it's really nice. First impression, I mean, it's very clean. You know, look, you know, you don't get too much of like plastics and bottles and all of, all of this um, stuff you may, you may see in some other beaches. But what I would say with this part, it's quite rocky. You know, it's quite rocky. There's a lot of pebbles and rocks and stuff here. I mean, look at that, wow. It's smooth though, you know what I mean? Big rock. So yeah, this is the vibe here. And for those who like visiting beaches, one of the things we used to do, right? You get a rock like this. I don't know how much um, I can make right now, but we will try to make the rock literally jump on the water on top. Three jumps, four jumps. So let me see how much I can do. Let's have a look, guys. Oh man, I only made one. Better luck next time. But yeah, so this, these are some of the things you expect to see on this side you know it's a coastal city guys so there are a lot of beaches everywhere and it's a cool vibe right now the time is no let me get the right time okay the local time here is 3 34 so usually you'll find a lot of people coming out in the evening time here so that's why it appears a bit quiet and it's low season high season 
from here go right down to Coral Bay you'll find a lot a lot of people on the beach and stuff like that so yeah I'm just giving you a quick tour here we're gonna explore more places and this is, this is really interesting like just looking up here this road here let me see if I can cross and show you what I'm seeing but farming is very important here for some people and I'm just seeing it's like a plantation of banana trees as far as my eyes can see right now I'm just seeing banana trees after banana trees so that, that's really interesting here yeah. someone just blowed me while they're driving you know so it's a nice peaceful vibe here man I like it Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. So yeah guys, this is what I'm seeing. So some of these farms, I'm not sure. Some of them might be, I'm not sure if it's government owned or it could be very much people own um, personal farms that they do business with, but it's well maintained and if we can look as far as right up there to the top where my um, hands are point my fingers pointing up there there you'll find trees go right up there so that's really interesting as well on this island yeah that we find the farming vibe going on that's always positive so yeah this is amazing man let me know in the comments section what do you think about what you've seen so far here in Paphos in Cyprus and I was saying before Cyprus is considered the Middle East now I don't want to go too much into the history and stuff but it had had a lot of um, influence over the years even on in, in, in Islam and then it had Christian influence and different things like that and once upon a time this island a lot of people also spoke the language of Arabic as well um, you had a lot of there are a few shrines here which is dedicated to certain um, leaders Muslim leaders in the past and stuff that people make pilgrimages to every year here in Cyprus and then of course you also have a strong Christian Orthodox influence here as well so it's a very interesting island if you want to learn about that history as well but Although technically being in the Middle East, as some people say, the culture here today in modern times certainly reflects a more Mediterranean vibe, you know, in terms of the food, the way things are built, the way people dress. It's like other Mediterranean countries that you, you, you'll visit, you know, might be other um, Greek islands, other um, Spain, Lanzarote, that kind of vibe. You'll see that right here in cyprus and in the city here of Paphos, so that's that's interesting but so far my first impression is it's a good vibe here people come across as friendly it's very clean and well maintained there's a lot of history and a lot of you know if you're interested in mythology and stuff you can learn a lot about these things there's even a place called the tomb of the kings where you can learn about it for both Muslims, Christians and stuff, there's a lot of ancient history in this part of the world that you can learn about. So certainly so far, I'm going to check out more of the island and show you what else you can experience here. But it's been a good vibe, guys. So let me know what you think about what you've seen so far today. Peace out. Have a good day.